In this fourth set of slides dealing with spatial regression estimation, I cover some principles behind the generalized method of moments. This material is fairly technical and can actually be skipped if you just want to move on to the estimation of the spatial error model, but it does provide some context um, and some general expressions for general methods of moments estimation that you may see and recognize in some of the technical papers. First, I'll go over the principle, the basic principle of the method of moments, then its generalization to the generalized methods of moment, method of moments, and its application in a regression context. And all this material is very mathematical and very abstract, but it comes back in a special form for the specific spatial regression methods that we will examine next. So first of all, the method of moments. This is actually a very general estimation principle, and it is older than maximum likelihood, for example. It uh, goes to the core of the definition of the moment. So a moment is an expected value of a power of the uh, variable of the random variable that we consider and specifically the expected value of the random variable itself is the mean by definition. This is a definition. This is not an assumption. This is a definition. This is what the mean is. The mean is the expected value. And therefore in expectation the difference between the random variable and its mean is zero. That's also by definition. So now comes the step to move from the definition to something that is operational. And here we use the property that sample moments from computed from a random variable converge in probability to the actual population moments that are the constants. So an average for a sample converges to the mean um, in probability. So as the sample grows larger and larger, the sample average becomes closer and closer to the actual mean, which in classical statistics is a constant. So the estimation principle then behind the method of moments is to estimate the population moments by the sample moments in a so-called uh, moment equation, which we then solve for the population moments, and that's our estimate. So, for example, in the context of a mean, the method of moments estimation of a mean, we um, express this condition that we just had in expected value. So the expected value of y minus the mean mu is zero. We replace the expected value by the average. So we take the average over the sum of all the deviations between the observed random variable y at i and the theoretical mean. Of course, we don't know the theoretical mean. The value for mu that solves this equation, solves the empirical moment condition, is the methods of moment estimator. And without any surprises, we see that the estimate of the mean is the average of the sample, the sample average. Okay, so now we, we have the concept, we have the concept that we use the definition of the moments into uh, obtaining an expression in expected value, an expression that shows the relationship between the sample values, the sample random variable, and the theoretical moment, and then we replace that by an actual average for the sample, and we solve it for the parameter of interest. Now, in a regression context, this is a little bit more complicated, and we have to think of what is the moment condition. What is an appropriate condition where we have an expression in both the observed variables as well as in the population parameter, and we can set that in expected value equal to zero. So then the solution will be to replace that ex this expected value expression by a sample average and solve that, right? So we, if we focus on the 
a regression relationship for an individual observation i, we have that y at i is xi prime beta plus u at i. And we already encountered this fundamental condition for uh, the estimation of a regression coefficient that the explanatory variable, the regressor x, needs to be uncorrelated with the error term. Or we can write this in a number of different ways, namely that the conditional expectation of the error term given any of the explanatory variables and for each observation u of i has to be zero or we can write this in vector notation that the expected value the conditional expectation of the error term given the uh, explanatory variables has to be zero so we know already that the unconditional mean of the error term is zero but what this says that the information that we get in the explanatory variable x absolutely doesn't change anything about that and it remains on average zero and we can also express this a little bit more operationally and in the usual form that we think of namely that the covariance or the correlation between the regressors and the error term is zero so this is the moment condition for a regression. Now this, does, this doesn't get us the betas yet. How do we get to the betas? We replace the expression for the error term u by its expression in the observables. Just like we've done before in maximum likelihood estimation, there we assumed a distribution for the error term and then we used the Jacobian to turn that into observables. Here we simply substitute the expression for u, and that expression is y minus x beta. And this then gives us k sample moment conditions, one for each explanatory variable. For each explanatory variable, the product of the x at i for every observation and for every k with the error term as expressed as a function of the parameter beta k has to be zero. So in general, um, the cross product of any exogenous variable with the error term, where the error term is expressed in observables and the parameter has to be zero. And then we replace that by the sample average, which gives us a number of, uh, for every observation, we have this cross product and we take the average of it. And you may recognize this from some of the early textbook explanations of linear regression because it's exactly the same thing. So ordinarily squares then turns out to be the solution to these k sample moment conditions. And in general we can write this either in some form or in matrix form as the traditional solution that the methods of moments estimation of the regression coefficient in a linear regression is x prime x inverse x prime y, namely exactly the same as the ordinary least squares solution gives us. Now the way we get to this is a little bit different from ordinary least squares. We get to this by setting up a set of theoretical moment conditions, theoretical conditions, uh, in this case products between the regressors and the error term, the error term contains the observables and the parameters, these products in expected value are zero, we replace them by their sample averages and we solve for the betas, which gives us the OLS solution. So methods of moments, the key to it is to set up these moment conditions, is to set up the uh, expressions in the expected value that contain observables and the parameters, and then we replace the expected value by a sample average and solve it.